But we can do this. You can ban chokeholds. You can, but, you, but the, beyond that, you have to teach people how to de-escalate circumstances. De-escalate. So instead of anybody coming at you, and the first thing you do is shoot to kill. You shoot them in the leg. But the, beyond that, you have to teach people how to shoot them in the leg. De-escalate. You shoot them in the leg. But you, but the, you shoot them in the leg. But we can do this. You shoot them in the leg. That was Democratic nominee Joe Biden at a town hall on Thursday on American ABC News telling people again how easy it is to shoot a person in the leg. Anybody who knows anything about defensive firearm use knows that that advice is completely ridiculous. Here's why. Number one, shooting somebody in the leg is really, really hard, especially when the target is moving or when shooting in low light conditions. Police officers around the world have long been taught to shoot center mass. That is, you aim for the largest target, the chest, the center mass. Even if you're a perfect shot during practice, aiming for an arm or a leg during the extraordinary stress of a lethal gunfight is just not smart and very difficult. Number two, you're more likely to miss. Aiming at a leg will almost certainly result in you missing your target. Where's that bullet going to go? It could ricochet. It could hit some innocent passerby. Even when aiming for center mass, there's still a good chance of missing in a stressful situation. I've heard various statistics, but it's often stated that 50% of shots miss, even when a police officer is aiming for center mass. Do we really need to increase that chance of missing by aiming for a smaller body part? If you're a police officer and somebody's charging at you with a knife, do you really want to decrease your chances of hitting the target knowing that you could well be stabbed if you don't hit? It's stupid to aim for the leg. Number three, it may not stop the target. If somebody is shooting at you and you somehow manage to shoot them in the leg, well, that person could still shoot at you. A leg wound will probably not stop them from shooting. Even if they don't have a gun and they're charging at you with, say, a knife, a leg wound may still not slow them down. The goal of a police officer in these sorts of life and death situations is to stop the threat. That's always been the goal, and always will be. Aiming for the leg is something you see in Hollywood, not in real life situations where people could actually die. Number four, hitting the leg can still be a lethal shot. If Joe Biden's goal is to prevent people from dying by aiming for their leg, well, that's not even valid. Your thigh contains the femoral artery. Severing it will result in unconsciousness in as little as 15 seconds and death in as little as 90 seconds. So the idea that shooting somebody in the leg is less lethal is a fallacy. Number five, not all gunshots are lethal. The fact that many people survive from gunshot wounds, even when shot multiple times in the chest, means that it would be foolish to avoid aiming at center mass in the vain hope that it might prevent that person from dying. If you're using a gun, it means your life or the life of an innocent person is on the line. This is no time to be Joe Hollywood and try to shoot people in the leg. Look, none of this is saying that police shouldn't have extra training. Of course they should. But teaching police to aim for legs is counterproductive. It won't result in less deaths. It will just result in more problems. Police have, or at least should have, access to many other less lethal options like tasers, pepper spray, rubber bullets, tear gas, and so on. When they have to use their firearm, it's in a rare, dire circumstance in order to protect their life or the life of another. Let's not make their job any harder by listening to Joe Biden.